Well, there is a young South African chef who is making waves in the world of French cuisine. And when he's not jetting around the world, Wandile Mabasa is refining his skills and visiting the hometown to see who's producing the best ingredients in the country for his big culinary dreams. Soweso born Wandile Mabaso's dream of becoming a chef has sent him from South Africa to New York and to Paris. He is currently based at two Michelin starred restaurant Le Maurice, where he works alongside renowned chef Alain Ducas. Cooking around the world has taught me so many things. I've come across so many different chefs from different cultures, different countries, and it exposes you to different ingredients and techniques. French cuisine appealed the most to me. I think it's the most refined type of cuisine. The techniques are great, and it's the basis for all professional cooking. As a French-trained chef, Wandile pays attention to how ingredients are grown, picked and handled, a point of pride on this boutique farm. Here in this farm here, because I like all my vegetables fresh, and if you have fresh vegetables, 70% of your job is done. Our policy at Kazi has always been to deliver what we've picked in the morning. So nothing that's on your plate or that arrives in your kitchen will be picked on another day. Our guys come in at half past five in the morning and we start picking. What we have at the moment in season will be baby carrots, baby beetroots. I'm hoping we have some baby brinjals, um, beautiful baby spinach. Um, and then we do a big variety of microgreens and uh, baby leafed salads. So I started cooking at age 10. I'm not sure exactly where the passion came from, but it's been there since day one and it's never left. And when I come to farms like this, it just reminds me exactly why I started. Like any chef, Wandile chooses his suppliers carefully and he's got a great relationship with his seafood specialist. Seafood is my most favorite. It's delicate, it's very natural. The flavors are always different and it's very healthy as well. It's a healthy choice. Henry over here, he recommended that I get a Norwegian salmon. The marbling is perfect, the fat content is amazing. Can you explain how you yeah. keep it so fresh? We fly it in three times a week okay. to ensure freshness all the time. From a sustainability point of view, Global Gap, yes. which in short stands for good agricultural practice. Yeah, that's very important. The way they look after yeah. the fish, the way they feed the fish, yes. um, the way they catch the fish as well. You can see in the nice torpedo shape of the whole salmon we have here, the beautiful color on the gills. A French menu is really without meat and having a good butcher means being able to trace the meat back to its point of providence. Now Danny, I've used lamb from all over the world. I've used uh, American lamb, I've used lamb from Australia and I must say here in South Africa we have the best lamb in the world. Now what does it take and what do you actually do with this lamb to make sure that it tastes so good? These animals come from the free state, it's, it's homegrown. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is that happy animals produce wonderful meat. We do use soybean meal to mix in a bit of protein for the animals, and that way it sustains them through the winter months. It's gonna cause phenomenal flavoring. And the next part I wanna show you is the dry aging. Yeah, please show me flavor. The best way to get flavor out of beef is by aging it. We basically employ two different methods of aging. One is called wet aging, the other one's called dry aging. The difference being is wet aging is also called lazy aging. It's done in a vacuum bag. Dry aging is on the bone. You've got the fat side and you've got the bone side. This protects the meat and makes it age well. At the end of the day, we cut away from the sides of the meat and then you get to the inside, which provides phenomenal flavor. Wandile has big dreams to make his mark on the local culinary industry and has great advice from aspiring young chefs. First and foremost, Get into the industry for the right reasons, it's for your passion, for cooking and the love for food. And through all the tough times that you're gonna go through, that's the only thing that's gonna keep you going. And secondly, I would say, get out of your home country, explore more, meet new cooks from different countries, come across new ingredients, new techniques, and that just opens up your mind to a whole new level that you'd never thought you would have. With so much talent and a clear passion for food, South Africa awaits with excitement for the day when Dile Mabaso serves up his cuisine on home soil. Food has been the perfect gateway for me to travel. Even when I'm back home, I'm continuously looking for great food and wonderful ingredients. But for now, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna head straight back to the kitchen.